Okay, people. I was, uh, I've been pretty quiet today. I didn't put up any videos. Now, I uh, I don't know if I put the videos up about that uh, Father Joseph's homeless shelter in uh, San Diego. How uh, you're supposed to go there if you're homeless and they're supposed to take care of the homeless. But uh, as you saw on some videos I did put up, we were sleeping in the street. And in order to get a meal, you have to have a, they call it a badge. And you can't get the badge at the shelter. You have to go somewhere way off, up a hill somewhere, to put in an application. You got to give them all your uh, personal information, how much you make, whether you own SSI, Social Security, uh, your income. But the reason they do this is because they use you, your information, to charge for programs and services that they don't provide. Because as you see, we were all there sleeping on the streets, but to get a meal, breakfast, lunch, or dinner, you have to show that badge. In order to take a shower, you have to show a badge. And the only way you get the badge, you have to provide all your personal financial information, which makes them charge the government for services and programs. So it's not really a homeless shelter. It's just another way for them to get paid. So people used to come in there and drop us off food and water, you know, different cars, different trucks. But let me tell you something about them. They were also working with organizations that they were building the government for. One company brought us some chicken to chicken spoil. Another company brought all, most of the products were spoiled or um, old, you know, but they charged the government money. At these organizations. One well, other problem I had, I got some clothes, they borrowed some clothes, but I'm gonna show you some pictures later how the people would come in these trucks and they'd have a handcuff for the clothes and they would put a plastic bag and they'd throw all the clothes on the streets. Nothing was sorted out, everything was tangled up. So the people would just go through the clothes and pick out something, but I'm saying, to provide clothes to you that they just throw, throw them out of bag and throw them on the streets and stuff I'm saying. A lot of clothes were not in good condition. They were old. Most of the shoes were torn. You know, it, it's, it, but these companies are saying that they're providing for the homeless. So, I'm, I might put a few of those videos just to show, to make my point. I want to show you how they throw the clothes out on the street so people can just go and pick through these clothes that they can't sell in the store. Because people clothes that they can sell at the Goodwills, the Red Crosses, and places like that, Salvation Army, to keep. But something that they can't sell, those are the clothes that they throw in the street for us to pick out from.